Hi girls, it's Epiphany Kendall. It's 2.39 a.m. I'm up getting ready for work. I, no wake up, no nothing. Um, I just wanted to say something right quick. Because <clears throat> the situation occurred and I just wanted to let things off my chest. It's so funny how in life, um, you know, we go through situations and have what we call a friendships or, um, you know, special bonds with people that we feel we trust and things like that. And anybody knows me knows, um, I just feel like I have very little friends and I always have because I feel like if I can't tell you something personal or whatever, there's no need for really need to really be friends with you because it's like if I can't be myself and express and say what I want, then I don't need to be around you. Um, so yeah, it seems like every time I, you know, am friends with someone or have a bond with someone, as soon as we're tested with something or situation occurs, it's like everything they know about me or um, feel like they have something over me, it gets thrown out there. It's just so funny. I've had arguments or disputes with friends, and it's like jabs, and it's like you were once someone who said, and this has happened many a time, plenty of times, um, it's like I'm saying in my head, well, this was a person who once said I lifted them up. It was a um, great influence on to them. And then in the same breath, because they're feeling some kind of way about whatever, now I'm a person that they hate to the point where they think my lowest points or where they have what they have over me, that's gonna be like kryptonite and they're gonna throw it in my face and I'm gonna be breaking down. Like what people need to realize is that that shit just fuels me. Like that gives me power. To continue to push harder just because you think you have something over me. Just because you even did that to yourself. I honestly feel like in life when you fuck me over, you're really fucking yourself over. Because I'm an asset to someone's life. Am I perfect? No. But it is just so funny. It's like, this is how you really felt. So why didn't you say it the whole time we were when things were fine and it's just it's crazy it's so funny I find it really amusing and it just goes to show me again 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 trust no one and it's so fucking sad y'all like it's so sad that people really hate themselves that much because it's funny even when I had low self-esteem growing up it was never I never was the type to put someone else down never like just because I hated myself inside or there was something I didn't like about my like that was never the case but it's so funny how It just goes from love to hate and zero to point two. So was there ever really love? Or was there envy or jealousy? Like, what was it? It's so funny. I just could not believe the situation that came, that came to make me want to do this video. Because it seems like, oh my God, it's history repeating itself. It's history really repeating itself. And now, like, oh my gosh. It's like... <laughs> I'm so speechless because it's so funny that when I, like, if you know me, you would know. Words will never hurt me again. Words will never hurt me again. Um, but after tonight, like, after this video, I will never be surprised at something that someone does. I will never be surprised again. I expect all things from people. And you know what? I forgive everyone. I honestly, truly, like, I swear, in my heart and in my gut, forgive those who have done me wrong. Who have. And hopefully they forgive me for if I'd done something that, the, and, you know, to them that they felt was wrong. But 
I truly forgive those. I do. Because I'm going to be fine regardless. I am going to be successful with whatever it is that I want in life. And, you know, most likely they know it. They know it. Um, I know it. It is what it is. And I love you. I love you. And it's just so funny. So funny. I don't know. I just had to do this video and um, just let, you know, people know out there. When people try to shoot you down with what you once told them or, you know, confided in them with, or when people try to use something against you or to make them make you feel small because something happened to you or your lifestyle was a kind, certain kind of way, excuse me, and there was wasn't, don't fall for that. Do not fall for it because... When you learn to really love you and accept you and know God, everything else is just that. Everything else. And it's like, fuck you. Yes, I went through that. Yes, my life is like that. And, and, you know what I mean? Like, yo, it's so real out here. It's just so real out here. It's so real. And... I am going to win regardless. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. So for those who have whatever to say about me or to anybody and you feel like you need to say it to me, come say it. Say whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to shine bright. I'm going to shine bright because every, when, even when I was young and people try to like rain on my parade or dull my light, I still shine I still was shining. I still was shining. And I don't want to have to get cocky. I don't want to have to get to that point of really having that cocky mentality. And I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it because that's not in me. It's not in me. But I am going to say, fuck you. To those who doubt. To those who got something to say. To those who feel like their life is better. Or whatever the case may be. Fuck you. But at the same time, I still love you. So, like, life is beautiful. And, oh, you're going to see. Because I'm going to keep doing what I do.